Dr. Om Lakhani has very well explained the pathophysiology. I'll try to get an extra mile uh, and the, the things which has been said by Dr. Lakhani, I don't want to repeat that. Because gestational diabetes from where it begins. See friends, it's a, it's a huge burden and these are the influencing factors that GDM is found higher among so why and where it begins, it's, it's very common in literates, homemaker, people living in nuclear family, people belonging to middle class, residing in urban area, primies, OBs, and gestational age between 21 to 24 weeks. And the, the set point is that there is, a, there is a difference in the balancing act of body between hormones and all. So that's the balance. And we all know that life is totally a balancing act. And these are the physiological changes. And these are the changes in metabolic orchestra because pregnancy is called a diabetogenic state. And its peak is around 28 to 32 weeks. And the hormonal milieu, which it changes behind this, this whole orchestra is that there is increase in HPL that is the mechanism of GDM, that is human placental lactogen. And with this cortisol, insulin antagonist and other things got increased, which further pushes insulin resistance in the body and glucose crosses the placenta by facilitated diffusion and fetal blood glucose level closely follow the matter level. So this is the pathogenesis of GDM. There is way this, this weighing balance, this the balance of body, the hormonal balance is totally lost because of going insulin resistance up and insulin secretion down. So this, this balance is there. Uh, basically hand, handled by our portal physiology. And this pregnancy, uh, pregnancy pathophysiology is that glucose is a teratog teratogen at high levels and it crosses placenta readily while insulin cannot. So there is decreased insulin resistance, increased insulin resistance, decreased insulin secretion and increased maternal glucose, which further leads to this final compl uh, complications of GDM. We... The levels of placental steroid and peptide hormones like estrogen, progesterone, and chronic uh, chorionic somatomammotrophin HPL rise linearly throughout the second and third trimesters. And because of these hormones, it, it confers increased tissue insulin resistance as their level rises. The demand for early and increased insulin secretion with feeding increasing progressively during pregnancy. So 24-hour mean insulin levels are 50% higher in third trimester. In spite of higher insulin release from the body, the insulin resistance overweighs this balance and that's why patient is in this diabetogenic state. And this uh, cartoon very well expresses and this has been explained by uh, Dr. Om Lakhani. So I don't go in the, this slide, but I'll see the gist of that. Then beta cell undergo hyperplasia and hypertrophy for meeting these metabolic demands of pregnancy. But when this pregnancy phase is over, then it got settles and this is the classical GDM. But when it continues, then patient turn into type 2 diabetic. But the organs involved, it's not at all a simple utero uh, placental axis. Friends, it's more than that. Brain, adipose tissue, liver, gut, placenta, muscle, and these all act in toto. And that's why patients suffer from a long lasting effects because of insulin resistance, lipolysis, leptin, adiponectin decrease, increase in free fatty acids and increase in low inflammatory cytokines. And Dr. Om Lakhani has very well uh, emphasized on TNF-alpha. So this beta cell dysfunction with hyperglycemia continues and there is, the, there is a loss of balance. And this all organs act in total and they ultimately leads to GDM. So what are the risk factors of GDM? Why these some people get GDM and some uh, don't, some metal? What are the maternal characteristics? So each risk factor is either directly or indirectly associated with impaired beta cell fraction. It can be advanced maternal age, overweight, because advanced age is the criteria because we are now getting our girls are get, uh, more occupied in, in, uh, in their career. So uh, age of marriage is going up and up. So there is advanced maternal age, overweight, obesity, excessive gestational weight gain, westernized diet, ethnicity, some, some uh, people are more prone, genetic polymorphism, other diseases like PCOS, intrauterine environment, 
because low to high birth weight family and personal history definitely has a great role because of its genetic polymorphism so these are the risk fact, uh, factors which further elaborated in, with associations that there is positive family history of diabetes in parents having previous birth of an overweight baby of 4 kg or more previous still birth with pancreatic islet hyperplasia unexplained perinatal loss polyhydramnios persistent glycosuria age i have already told obesity pcos current use of steroids friends after covid we have seen that uh, this steroid has been ad- inadvertently used throughout the globe and that that may be one of the cause that our uh, girls and our females are getting such kind of situations essential hypertension or pregnancy related hypertension and this vicious cycle of diabetes go on go on that's why gdm is taken as a part of vicious cycle of trans generation obesity and diabetes these gdm patients when they go ahead in their life uh, span then there is that there is a huge huge effect either in the infant or in the youth part because this the this gdm uncompensated insulin resistance and this pancreatic beta cell dysfunction risk is increasing the risk of type 2 diabetes in the future control hyperglycemia and pregnancy will will have a better effect because there is an epigenetic and genetic predisposition to diabetes and obesity so these are the long uh, long lasting effect of gdm and uh, i'll conclude uh, my session with this sci- this uh, paper abstract which very well say uh, published in elsevier that this gestational diabetes has a linking epidemiology excessive gestational weight adverse pregnancy outcomes and future metabolic syndrome these these are the very well having a cross linking association and the diagnosis of gdm is expected to continue to rise because gdm and mask a beta cell defect that persists after pregnancy and typically worsens over time imparting the increased risk of type 2 diabetes after the index pregnancy in addition coexisting obesity and progressive weight gain are the additive factors for progression of type 2 diabetes so obstetricians our gdm group our psg group our rssdi group and all physician should play an integrated role in informing gdm women and it's it's prudent to talk in this platform about such a devastating effect where we have to take care of two of the uh, lives when mother and and the fetus and our future population so will while tackling the gdm we are tackling whole whole our population so that's friends it's a great talk and uh, it's a great time to share with you all thanks all